What do you do when a government has all the right intentions for solving the country's biggest challenges, but is going about it in entirely the wrong way? That's a question we should all be asking, particularly when considering the recently announced housing plan. Optimistically entitled First Homes, the proposal is to offer a 30% discount on some new homes to local buyers. Part of its aim is to help so called key workers such as teachers, nurses, and prison officers find housing as well as ensuring that veterans do not find themselves homeless when they leave the armed forces. These are important issues. The UK's housing crisis is causing misery for millions, especially younger people. Public services are stretched due to issues around recruiting and retaining staff, especially in urban areas where living costs are high. And we can all agree that it is shameful that people are living on the streets in the UK especially those who have so bravely served our country. But is the government's first homes policy really the best way to address these various challenges? The main reason we have a housing crisis is because supply has failed to keep up with demand. The country has an incredibly restrictive planning system which limits what can be built and where. Stamp duty land tax also gums up the market, making people reluctant to sell even when their homes are no longer suitable for them. Like anything in life, when there is a lot of demand for a good that's in short supply, the cost goes up. The solution is simple, increase supply. The government can do this by liberalizing the planning system. For example, much of the green belt around our cities is of little agricultural or environmental benefit, so there should be an audit of this land to find the most suitable places in which to build homes while also protecting areas of natural beauty. Stamp duty should also be scrapped and replaced with a land value tax to increase the rate of house moving. What about helping key workers? While it is true that housing costs are an issue, this is a symptom of the problem, not the cause. The main reason we struggle to attract enough people into jobs such as teaching, nursing, or prison work is low pay. Most people don't go into these jobs for the money, but they still need enough to live and enjoy a good quality of life. The government should put an end to salary caps and centralized pay bargaining, and give individual organizations more flexibility. If schools in the Northeast, for example, are struggling to attract maths teachers, then they should have more funds available to increase wages. We could also tackle the retention issue by introducing performance related pay so that the highest quality individuals are incentivized to stay in their professions. Liberalizing immigration would further increase the supply of workers in these fields. As for VET for more on this story, visit the news article link.